Hello, independent seventh grade students. It's Mrs. Douglas and Mrs. Hinckley with you again today. And today we're working with multiplying and dividing integers. And again, you might remember this from way back at the beginning of our seventh grade school year. And so I see that an example problem is a negative three times five. And so when I have that negative three times five, first of all, I'm not gonna worry about the multiplying at all. I'm just worrying about the signs. I see a negative three and this five is positive. If the signs are different when we're multiplying, then the answer will be a negative answer. And then I multiply like normal. Three times five is 15. So I end up with a negative 15 final answer. On our next example, I have a negative two times a negative six. And I notice that both of these are negative numbers. If the signs are the same, my answer is always going to be a positive answer. And then I just multiply like normal, two times six is 12. That makes sense because since you've been in third grade, if you were multiplying two numbers like five times four, and they both are the same sign of positive, then we just multiplied five times four to get 20, and it was a positive 20. So remember, when you're multiplying, if you have different signs, then your answer will be negative. If you have the same signs, your answers are positive. You have some practice problems below this example. Then you will see a second example all about dividing. And again, with dividing, if I have a problem like negative 27 divided by a negative three, in which case both of those are negative numbers, so they have the same sign. I know that my answer is going to be a positive answer. And then I just divide like normal. 27 divided by three is nine. I end up with a positive nine. Examples like a negative 84 divided by a positive seven. I'm thinking, are my signs the same or different? And this time they're different. If they're different signs, it's gonna be a negative answer. And then I have 84 divided by seven, which is 12. So I end up with a negative 12. Or if my first number is a positive number, like positive 66 divided by a negative six, again, I'm just looking to see, oh, these are opposite signs, a positive and a negative. My answer will be negative. And then I divide like normal, 66 divided by six is 11. So again, same signs, I get a positive. Different signs, I get negative answers every time. Good luck, seventh grade. We'll see you later.